You're st oh yeah, it's stuck. You got a bottle stuck. Hi, who are you? Hi. You're st oh yeah, it's stuck. I knew this was serious and that I needed to take action right away. Hold on, we're gonna help. The good news is he was smiling. I guess I would be too if I had a cheese puff jar stuck on my head. You seem pretty happy for having a bottle stuck on your head. Okay, 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 come here, you're okay. The whole thing was kind of cute, but it was also very serious. I, I knew we had to get that bottle off of his head right away. The neighbor actually alerted me to this and so they were running to get scissors. This pup had wandered onto our farm. As soon as I saw him, I grabbed my phone. Hi. I was worried he was gonna bolt and I wanted to have video to put in our town's Facebook group in hopes someone would recognize him. He's got a tag on. Did you find something? We tried the scissors. They weren't strong enough to cut through that plastic. Hang out here. I'm gonna go get uh, some thicker cutters. I think there might be some in the greenhouse. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. I got the I got clippers and we got treats. So when he comes out of this, he can have some treats because he's probably a little little scared. What is it? It's like a cheese puff bottle, pretzel. <laughs> It's a pretzel bottle. <laughs> okay, let's see, all right. Because I could fit my two fingers in the bottle, I knew he had plenty of air that was going through all that fluff that he had. So now the important thing was to stay calm so that he would stay calm and not make any sudden movements and that we could get this jar off of him safely. When I was cutting that bin off of his neck, I was I was nervous, you know, I had to be really careful. More cuts, man. Is, you really did a number, buddy. I hope it was good. Okay, that's it. Let's see, here we go. You're free, my man. Oh, oh good dog. When that container came off, you could just feel his joy. It was just such a happy experience. Here you go. Oh, good dog. That's a good dog. But the job was not done. We had to help him find his family. Thank goodness the owners did the right thing. He had a collar and a dog tag on. So my neighbor Colin got all the information off the tag so we could call them. No answer, so we texted. How funny would it be to get a text message like that when you're at work that your dog's got their head stuck in a cheese ball container? We didn't get a response, so my first thought was, where's the most likely place that he lives? So, we're just guessing right now. They've got a horse ranch. He's a working dog. So, I'll bet it's messed up. We were right! It was the right house. And they were so happy to see him. And get this, his real name, Puppalophagus. A very fitting name for this curious puppy. That, that was fun. Thank goodness I had Colin to help. Like, we've all been there before with our head or our hands stuck. Oh. In. No, no, <laughs> no, what are you doing? Come on, pop it up again. Come on, come on. All right. If this story made you happy, please share it to make someone's day. And let me know, have you ever been in a situation like this where you needed to help an animal or would you?